just a few days ago on Thursday, they had to do a demonstration flight for the FAA. We NASA do not have authority in this realm to regulate this kind of flight. The FAA does, and so the FAA had to see the fact that one more check that they were safe for untethered flights. So the first time they ever did an untethered flight on these vehicles was just this past Thursday in front of the FAA observers. They looked at things, made sure everything was safe, and uh, and uh, gave us the go, gave people the go to press on and end the competition yesterday and today. A few safety measures in place out the pad. They've got this 100 meter traverse to go down from one pad to the other. If the vehicle goes off more than 10 meters, it's supposed to go by software to automatic shutdown and auto land. So it would land, the engine obviously wouldn't shut off. It would hopefully just throttle back so it would land. And then um, if it didn't do that at 25 meters, they'd, they'd, they'd drop it anyway. They'd kick the engines at that point. So we'll all see that. I'm gonna go out there and take a closer look. In the meantime, we'll go back to Wendy and Greg at the desk. Thanks, Bill. We'd like to remind our viewers that the start of this competition doesn't actually begin with the launch. That's something that takes place during the... So the clock has started, the competition has begun, and the launch is something that happens. But why is it important that as part of this competition, they've got to load their space vehicle onto a truck, get it out to a place, and then fuel it there? Well, the reason for that, Wendy, is to uh, demonstrate operations capability. Not just the flight itself, not just from pressing the, the, that big red launch button to the landing, but the whole business of getting the rocket ready to go. Because operations are, are a crux of low cost uh, space flight, and that's one of the goals of the Enterprise is to teach people how they will actually be operating these space vehicles. We can see now that they've uh, basically loaded it up, it's hooked up, but the truck has yet to pull away. What kinds of things might they be doing at this time? There we go. I think they're just being very careful oh, with this vehicle. Go. Because they're going to be careful not to bounce it too much. Yes. It's going to bounce plenty and just a little better than you want.